Hi everybody, Poncho Bachelor here, your Colorado Watchman. Here today to take a look at the Joe Cube, it's called. It's the Joel Osteen Inspiration Cube, Audio Cube. And you can get them on Amazon for 35 bucks, 25 bucks. I think they're on sale if you're a Prime member. And so that's what we're looking at, the Joel Osteen Inspiration Audio Cube today. Now for starters, I'm going to say that this is a piece of marketing genius. My hat's off to Joel Osteen's marketing department. What an amazing idea. I mean, this is, this is like the pet rock of religion. <laughs> Way to go, marketing department. Right on. <laughs> now, as a Christian, however, I, I think I'm seeing some red flags maybe right off the bat. I mean, let's just let's just take a look at the at the front of the Joe Cube here and and you can see there's this big brand here right on there that says Joel. So every time you look at it, you've just got that Joel brand looking you right in the face. You know, uh, call me crazy, but don't you think it maybe should say Jesus across there? <laughs> what about it? And, and uh, come to think of it, I don't see any kind of really Christian iconography on here whatsoever. You know, he could have put a little fish there. That's not, you know, obviously probably didn't want to put a cross on there because some people would find that offensive. But, you know, there's not a cross or a fish or any actual Christian iconography on here whatsoever. And so this is kind of a stealth Christian device. If you didn't know any better, uh, you would know that this is supposedly Christian. Now, Joel, I checked it out. He, you know, his church is a non-denominational Christian church. So he claims to be Christian. So let's look a little closer at this iconography here. You know, one of the things I noticed was, I was like, at first I was like, oh, okay, well, he did put a cross on there. There's a little cross right there. And, uh, but, you know, really, that's not a cross. That's a star. Especially if you look at it in the context of the other icons here. Here's like a head with a sun inside it. And over here on this side is a rising sun. So you're looking at these, this icon, iconography represent, these symbols represent illumination, illumination. So they're very Gnostic symbols. And so is the star. Now one could say, oh well, that could be the star of David. And, and it could, it very well could. It, it also could represent the guy whose name means morning star. That would be Lucifer. So, you know, did anybody mention to Joel, you know that, that star right there, that could represent Lucifer, you know, Satan, the enemy, the other team, if you're a Christian. And, uh, and he was, ah, I'll go with it, you know. But anyway, so that's what we're seeing. There is nothing uh, Christian about the appearance of the Joe Cube. And, you know, you really would think there'd be a picture of Jesus on here, or a cross at least, or something like that, but not. So, anyway, so I haven't listened to it yet. I'm waiting to do that with you guys. And, uh, you know, I was uh, planning on going up to my remote mountain shack and having, uh, having some lunch up there. And so, you know what I think I'll do? I think I'll take the Joe Cube up there with me, and uh, we'll... Listen to it together in that just beautiful, serene environment up there on the side of a mountain. So, how's that sound? So I'll, I'll see you up there. Oh, right, here, we, we can turn it on. It says it's ready. Oh, I got an idea. You know, so, so we get an idea of what we're listening to uh, before, before we hear it. Let's uh, take a look at some of the reviews on Amazon. Okay, we're here at the Amazon.com uh, page, you know, where the where you can buy the, the the Joel Cube, and we're taking a look at some of these reviews here. I'm doing this, you know, with the screen on, so you know I'm not making these up or something. But anyway, here's the here's the top review, high and tight. 
It says, this chomo will set your brain on fire and four strokes guaranteed. Daddy Joel sounds like a real cool guy. <laughs> 10 out of 10 jeans. I love this cube. My uncle Fed Smoker got me this from Falcon Car Wash, and I have to say, the positive affirmations are the only thing keeping me from ending it all. Some of my favorite sayings are, keep them high and tight. Just feathering it, just keep feathering it, brother. And don't be stingy. Cool stuff. If you are looking to wake up every morning to Julia's sweet voice, then this cube is for you. Listen to it every day while I listen to it every day while putting on my high and tight jeans paired with a Ms. Su Wu shirt and bug spray for my hair. At night, it only takes four strokes of the play button to help me relax enough to fall asleep. It also comes with an autoplay feature that tells my house guests unprompted quotes. <laughs>
Sorry.